what's up you guys if you're going to be towing a trailer with your toyota rav4 you're going to need trailer wiring it's required by the law let's go ahead and break that down you'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation so our wiring is going to plug into our vehicle's tail light harness which is located behind the panels on both sides so to get behind there we're going to start by removing our flooring Next, we're gonna remove this jack tray. We're just gonna pull up underneath towards the rear. And then there's two pins up here, but we can remove that just by pulling up slightly. And you'll see them both pop up and we'll set that aside. Next, we're gonna remove the rear threshold panel. We're just gonna pull up on it. So we're gonna start with the driver side paneling. At the bottom, we're going to remove this tow hook, which is held in by a screw, which we'll remove using a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we'll remove a screw right up here using a Phillips screwdriver. Now using a trim panel tool, we're going to pry back our driver side paneling. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. We're also going to take off this top panel. And right behind our upper driver side panel, we can find our driver side taillight harness. Now we're going to disconnect our taillight harness. We're going to push on the tab at the top. Now we're going to take our T connector with the yellow, red, and brown wire, and we're going to plug it into our driver side taillight harness. Now we're going to take our white wire with the ring terminal, but we're going to ground it right behind our upper panel, and we're going to use the provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're going to hook up our power wire to the black wire on our converter box. We're going to be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire, which has a protective loom on it to protect it from the elements. And we're going to use a heat shrink buck connector to connect those. And we'll be using a butane torch for the heat shrink buck connector. Now we're going to take our green T connector. We're going to route it over here to the passenger side. And following the same steps that we did on the driver's side, we're going to hook it up to our passenger side tail light harness. Now we'll go ahead and plug in our green T connector to our passenger side tail light harness. Now we're going to take our green wire, we're going to tuck it behind our passenger side panel. Now we're going to clean up our driver side paneling. We're going to start by putting our converter box from our trailer wiring behind our bottom side panel. Now we're going to take the rest of our wires and just like the green wire on the passenger side, we're gonna tuck them underneath. And we're gonna leave our four flat harness and our power wire in the cargo area. Now we're gonna bring our power wire underneath our vehicle. There's a vent right here that we're gonna drop it under. We're just gonna push our wire through. And you're gonna to wanna to face it towards the outside of the vehicle. So let's go over some storage options for your four flat harness. You can leave it in your cargo area and pull it out through the weather seal when you need to tow or you can bring it underneath your vehicle right next to your receiver hitch so it's ready whenever you need it. Let's go ahead and show you how it's done. We're just gonna bring this right through the vent that we just put our power wire through. Now that we're done in the cargo area, we'll go ahead and put everything back together.
So our wiring comes through our vent underneath our vehicle right here on our driver's side. We're gonna bring our four flat harness closer to our hitch receiver. We're just gonna bring it over this underbody panel right here. Now we're gonna take our power wire and we're gonna run it to our battery in our engine compartment. We're gonna be following underneath our vehicle along the driver's side. We're gonna start by going over the hitch and over this underbody panel on the driver's side. Now we're gonna bring our wire over these two cross members. We're just gonna bring it right atop of it. Now we're gonna bring it over these support brackets right here. And we're just gonna follow these all the way to the front. And we'll use some zip ties to secure our wire underneath. Now that we've reached the end of these panels, we're going to bring our wire up through the engine compartment. We're just gonna follow the brake lines right here. Now we're in the engine compartment. If you followed your brake lines with your power wire, you can find your brake reservoir right here. We'll just follow it down until we see where we pushed up our wire and then we'll be able to pull it up. Now we're going to pull this nice and tight and we're going to bring it around our brake lines and brake reservoir and then we're going to zip tie it over here to this existing wiring so it doesn't fall back down. Now we're going to take our fuse holder and we're going to attach it to our positive post on our battery. We're going to remove this nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we'll attach our ring terminal and we'll reattach the nut. Now we're gonna route our power wire underneath our fuse box towards our battery. Now we're gonna connect our power wire to our fuse holder. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. If you don't have this, you'll need to use a heat shrink buck connector. And now we're going to insert the provided 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder. So we have a little bit of extra wire. We're just gonna bundle it up and we're gonna zip tie it to the loom back here. Now with our wiring powered up, let's go ahead and show you how to secure your four flat harness. A lot of people will leave it dangling right here next to the receiver, but that can be dangerous as it can drag and then be damaged. So we're gonna be using a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. But we're just gonna line it up right here on the end of the bumper. And we're just gonna make sure that there's nothing on the other side by reaching behind. And now that we're in a good spot, using a 3 16 drill bit, we're gonna drill our first hole. And then we'll put our screw into place. And then we'll go ahead and connect our four flat bracket. And then we're gonna make sure it's nice and square. And then we'll drill our second hole. And then we'll attach our other screw and then we'll tighten it using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we'll place our dust cover on our four flat harness. And we'll bring it into our bracket and then we'll put our dust cover on. With your wiring powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.